defender, pseudo defender player who really just ends up outputting so much damage. It's quite an interesting team dynamic because usually you see, um, you know, these top half players, you know, like to go for things like, you know, the Machamp, like the Garchomp, like the, like the old school, you know, damage dealer, uh, scale up, uh, become a carry kind of situation. No, Lance always on right. that more, you know, you know, defensive, uh, defensive picks. And now Ralphie, he's going to switch things up. So he's going for the Lapras. It's been let through. They chose to ban the slow bro instead. So that's going to be out of old guy's hands. Let's see how they respond here. Dodrill is available for Sync 1 again. And no doubt going to snap it up in the first two picks. Mm-hmm. There you go. Definitely the uh, oh 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 oh. Mm -hmm. The chandelier and the Dojo. I think yep. this is uh, off of a very good start here for all guys. But we have to remember, Lapras is quite a menace as well. And one bubble beam from the Lapras stops Sync One. Yeah, I mean Sync One has done a really good job in terms of just kind of evading all these pesky hindrances thus far, right? But now you got the double defender duo of, of the terrifying water boys. Uh, you know, you got Kai. I don't know whether he's going to be playing that or whether, uh, you, you know, the Lapras is going to go somewhere else. But we saw in the info card just now that Ralphie playing both these Pokemon. We'll have to see how it pans out. RBX doubling back for the Trevenant. So not a Pokemon we've seen uh, in the past few games at least. I think they did bring it out uh, one other series on stream. But Brone and Dreamt gonna lock in the Delphox as well as the Zora. So running it back a little. What is the last pick gonna be for old guys? Oh, no way. Wow. Okay. No. 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 Okay. I can accept this. I can accept this. I can accept <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The talent play was a little bit no, of, no, that's a like little a, bit sus, bro. No, that's like that a, a little do you bit remember sus. when we were casting talent the other time and then they picked talent flame? It's like a, it's, talent it's like sending like, a message, oh you know? It's like sending a message. <laughs> They want to confuse the <laughs> casters as well. I mean, we already mix up Talon and Talonflame over and over. I know what I mean? And sometimes they're like, oh, Talonflame, I'm going to lose this. I'm like, huh? And then, yeah, I look, yeah, and, then yeah, I look, yeah. and then I look for the Pokemon on the team. I'm like, what is he? Oh, Wait, there's no Talonflame. Right, right. That's what he means. Oh, uh, Jet Trippin. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's but... not... Okay, so here's the scary thing, right? Um, last game we were worried that there wasn't any control on the side of old guys but it really was the Delphox that fire spin catching multiple you know once you're jumping mm -hmm. in you know the fire spin doesn't have to travel that far if you're the one running into the fire spin so Braun didn't really have a good sort of way to get in and stay in without just getting toasted immediately right mm -hmm. now they don't have that tool on their side anymore they have the Trevenant which can offer some CC but I don't know whether it's enough to stand up against the Zora yeah, I mean, at the same time, you know, sure, Sync One here might be running the uh, what was the uh, the full heal uh, battle item, but given how there's you know all in M's here with that of uh, the uh, because of Ralphie here with the bubble beam, we have the uh, you know Dreamt here with that of the fire speed as well. That is, I guess, a little bit too much here. Even if you do evade the hindrances that these moves can get you, you're still gonna get damaged though. Yeah, that's true. I, there's no shortage of damage, that's for sure, on the side of old guys. But I mean, Talent, they've packed in quite a punch on their lineup as well. Now, Brone, feeling very confident on this Zora, so I, I respect it, right? Despite the ups and downs, still running it back with this Pokemon and trying to gonna try and make it work. But Sync One, I mean, we've been talking about this man since the start. This guy's an absolutely insane Dojo mm -hmm. player. But RBX as well, you know, that is something that we have to, you know, uh, give a little bit of a shine to as well. Sync has been getting us, uh, you know, give him the, uh, the, the, the the highlight, which is, you know, it's a good reason as well, because Sync has been, you know, really giving a lot of, like, openings towards all guys. But, you know, we have to give props towards that of RBX as well, because if it wasn't for RBX, maybe would have been, uh, would have been, would have been Mammoth Wine even, you know, just to freshen things up but this with the wood hammer with the chevron with the wood hammer i think is a, a really good pick as well especially going towards this kind of like team where they are really mobile especially that of the zoroark with uh oh, but top using Fight, using mayhem. the wood hammer just once is just gonna line them up pretty good into into uh, for the side of old guys a little bit of a tussle here on this top side as both uh Parties just escape unscathed here, which is, I, th I think, an optimal scenario. You don't really want to give up the momentum on either one of these central power Pokemon. Um, with that being said, though, um, 
I think in the previous game, uh, at least game number one, we saw Lance really pop off with this Machamp. It didn't end up getting them a win. And when I say pop off, I mean he had some pretty good moments. And hopefully right. he's able to repeat them again, right? He's already doing a good job in terms of securing a lot of these last hits on the on the neutral Pokemon here up against Ralphie. Um, and, and we'll see whether that continues. Right, still a 1v1 one, uh, one one situation here for Ralphie and Lance up the top half. But, uh, you know, still a little bit of a poking for both of the teams as well. So, you know, I, I don't think they're going to be committing just yet. Not until the sec uh, the first set of major objectives comes up. That is the Reggie Eleki and the Reggie Bottom. You know, they're still just going to be poking each other out. Because whoever, whoever committed first, right, I think is going to be on a very huge disadvantage. Especially, especially in this kind of crucial moment. Yeah, absolutely here. Yeah. Both teams just ramping up for this seven minute engagement here. And uh, a little bit scary because right now Dremt sitting at a, a level advantage two. There the chandelier or rather Lampen Thorfinn not at that crucial third evolution at the moment, right? And that's going to play a big part, especially for this engagement. We've seen how much damage chandelier can do and they're definitely going to need it on the side of old guys to really put up a fight. moment of silence for everyone right now as we're going to be getting to see whoever whoever is going to commit and look at that very beautiful wood hammer coming in from rpx see you see still nobody is still committing here yeah they need to watch out for the fire spin that's what did the opponent in just now the with the wood hammer with the punches is it enough that's gonna be the Machem chop down though they didn't have enough damage to finish the job they finished off the reggie route that's for sure rbx and the wood hammer triple triple crushes them all the wood hammer just like nails and oh each my one God, of the a team wipe. just hammers them down you need a woodpecker you got a hammer right here I mean, Sync, what a beautiful... Old guys, we talk about how well they play with this Dojo combination. And what a way to do it there. Man, again, all they need to do is meet those three criterias. And they did right from the get-go. Getting into the Dojo, uh, you know, deleting from play... Uh, sorry, well, not delete, but banning from play Kai's Hoopa. And those are the only things that they need to do. And look at that right now. Sync one at the very right moment, the very right timing, very, very crucial timing as well. Triple Trample knocks them off, along with the Wood Hammer, just pushing out so much damage, wiping Talon from the face of Earth. Yeah, I mean, they stood no chance there. We almost saw it happen in slow motion. Wow. Just in time to keep Sync up and running. Didn't want to give any of that comeback EXP. And now poor Kaye wow. Gonna go down as well. They're not done just yet. The Marcham in some trouble. Gonna go down to the Lapras. But Ralphie makes the fall and dreamt. Holding his ground on that Delphox means that the rest of the old guys have to retreat. But already a 100 point lead. And as well, take a look at the EXP difference. Sync is three whole levels up on his counterparts. And does have the blue and, uh, sorry, violet and orange buffs as well. So definitely going to dish out so much damage, uh, more damage than it, do, uh, than it usually would. Plus, a, you know, a little bit of a uh, lesser cooldown in terms of its movements, allowing it to dish out more damage than it should have. But look oh. at that right now, they're gonna be able to pick off Sync 1 for themselves, for Talon here, which is actually a very good thing here because they really needed to mark down Sank One because if they don't, then man, just sandwiching them over again and again is gonna be the play of the game here for old guys. Yeah, I mean, it really does take a nice pair of dancing shoes on Sync One to keep juking them and jiving them, but they finally managed to get their hands on him with a nice rotation, like you said, and that's how they need to keep going. They need to single out this dojo. They can't let him keep getting away with all his shenanigans. He's done it for way too long, and they should know right. the pattern by now. They need to kind of keep a keen eye and make sure they stamp out that bird before he can just completely ruin their days. Now, Reggie Lecky doesn't manage to break into the goal zone. Nice defense there from the talent member. Uh, sorry, for the old guys members, and now they're going to be contesting for the basement Reggie. Now, here you go, though. They are still outnumbered by talent. So I'm not sure if they are going to be, uh, you know, committing just yet. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. I think they're going to be waiting for everyone to come in. Get into Reggie Steel. Sink one trying to score in some points. Again, just go back now into the Reggie Steel. Yes, they will get some fireworks in play. Wow. But Talon Braun here gonna be able to take them to Reggie Steel for themselves. But the question is, would they be able to survive this 
attack coming in from Olgas. Yes, they will. That's going to be a one for one trade here for both of the teams. Nobody still winning here, but look at that. The Trevenant's going to be taken out as well, and that of the Machamp. But in exchange is Braun with the Zoro War. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, they managed to take down the Delphi. So two for one trade as the dust settles. And right. they don't actually lose out a lot in terms of their tier one goal zone, right? They're still able to kind of hang mm -hmm. on to that. Um, I, I talent, much needed win. Helps them get some nice EXP back their way. But as you can see, they're struggling. They're not really doing too hot in terms of the point difference. And you, you know, it's not insurmountable just yet. The Rayquaza can definitely uh, change that. But now, you, you know, you've used some Unite moves. You don't really have any at your disposal. Blitz assistance is available for Mayhem right now if they want to use it for this Reggie Lecky. But it should very easily go into the hands of old guys here. Yeah. Well, I mean, considering as well that they do have the position advantage, right, than that of Talon, this is just going to give them so much of a lead here, so much of a breeding room as well, if they do then decide to take away this Reggie like, oh. for themselves, which I think they should. Which I think they should, by the way. I think they're a bit concerned because they don't see anyone on the side of Talon, so they're actually going right. to... They're not going to bother with it. Maybe it's because they think, okay, right now, there's the tier 1 go zone open. Leaving that up and running is actually useful for us in this final stretch. Yeah, I mean, instead of getting into Reggie Ilecki, they're just, gonna, they're just going to go in for the positioning into that Ray Quaza because I think this is going to be far more important, which I do have to agree, it's going to be far more important than that of Reggie Ilecki. Oh, Sing dancing around the back line, huge Phantom Forest, plants the seeds. Is this the potential for Talon's defeat? Talon jumping in, but there is the Hydro Typhoon, knocking all of them out. Blitz Assistance is there. No members of old guys going down just yet. Wow. The punches are through and two down already for Talon. They're trying to answer back. They can't get anyone for now, but the Nightfall days oh. wipes out two, wipes out three. The last remaining two members each on each team. They're trying to do the work of the dash through. Both the guys oh, wow, the out. And just like that, Sink was still alive though! Versus Ralphie here. The respawns, they're coming in. The Pokemon, they're coming back into the fray. Ralphie desperately trying to make it work on this Rayquaza. They need to make it happen here. How is this gonna end, JJ? Oh my goodness. Guys, do not peel your eyes away from this because we will find out who's going to be going in and get in on the finals. But look at that. Sequel's going to be able to take down two in the process. And look at that. Ralph is going to be taken out as well. as going to be three down into the end of Talon. Old guys does have the oh position. But the Sequel takes the Rayquaza away from Talon. And now all they need to do is to Malone into the... <laughs> Score goals right now, jumping into the score goals. Ladies and gentlemen, all change alike. Wow. My goodness, all guys still in the game. Sure, I mean, Talon might have been back with their old composition, with their old roster, but we are the old guys, and we are the new faces here, and we are the ones proceeding to the upper bracket finals. Yeah, and I mean, just like that, old guys, you know, like what I said, you give Sing the dojo, he's gonna find an angle, crucially survives that final battle, comes back and makes the difference. What a way to do it. Old guys, they're gonna defeat Talon in the upper bracket semifinals here. Wow. Ooh. That is, that is, that is, that, okay. Okay, do, that do, 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 do. How do we keep Pokemon getting, Unite. how do we keep getting games like this? For real, like be for real with I, you. I, I, how I does this like, keep happening? Uh, it's actually, we're, we, 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 this is ridiculous. Uh, we, we, we were talking about this, right? Oh we were gosh. talking about like, hey, the good matchups are on, like, there's just like really good matchups on, on West. But the games though, no, I'm, no, not no, sure no, no. Yeah, I'm not sure about this, that. Yeah, this is spicy. I'm not sure about that, like, this is spicy stuff. Uh, I mean, every single this, uh, yeah, it is right. Every single team is packing the heat. I mean, whether it's through their picks, whether it's through their gameplay, whether it's through the team fights. Old guys, if there's one thing they brought to the table, it's fighting around Sync and his dojo. They're so good at being patient, waiting for Sync to find an opening, and whoever the shot caller is, they're doing a perfect job because they just completely dismantle their opponents again and again in these team fights. It's such a beauty to Imagine, watch, JJ. Though. Imagine if this were the best of 